As they await their playoff opponent, the St. Trojans men's hockey team do so coming off their best offensive season in nearly five years. Following their final weekend of regular season play, eight Trojan players finished with 20 or more points. It's not just one player. If one guy goes down or having a bad night or is in a penalty box, and other players can pick it up. A lot of the guys are contributing on the score sheet. and uh, I mean, one night you, uh, your top line has an off night and it, the second and third line, or I'm not even sure if we have a second and third line. Everyone's kind of just uh, pulling their own weight and putting goals up and uh, it's, it's been really fun to watch. Ben O'Quinn led the way for the Trojans with 45 points, good enough for tops in league scoring. While only playing in 26 of the 32 games, O'Quinn had the hot hand all season long. I've been put into some pretty great opportunities, uh, playing with some good players, and uh, we've just kind of made the most of it. And uh, we've just just kept playing hard and stuck to the structure of our uh, the game plan, and uh, it's it's been fun. It's been it's been really. It's, a, it's been a good season so far. Ben's a heck of a skater. He's a creative player offensively, and uh, you know he's learned to play better defensively in the last little while since he's been here. And I just think he's a player that is a threat to score every time he's on the ice, and it's not necessary by a set play. And so that's always hard to defend against, right? You got a player that has speed, some good puck handling skills, and it's hard out there. So uh, he's always a threat to score, and he keeps our teams honest. The runner-up in team scoring was Riley Patterson. Now even though we finished 10 points back of his line mate, he surpassed him in goals with 19. I had a slow start actually off to the first bit of the season and then uh, just getting paired up with uh, uh, Mitch Ford and uh, Ben O'Quinn and we've seemed to have some uh, really good chemistry and that seemed to help and just trying to be, play my game, just keep it simple, not trying to do too much. Um, weren't always the prettiest goals, but uh, I'll take them as they come. <laughs> Patterson was red hot to finish the season with five goals and 11 points in his last eight games. Coach Babby says Patterson's size has helped him maintain that scoring touch. Patterson has just been a solid two-way, 200-foot uh, player, they call him now. Uh, two-way player, I call him, right? Same thing. And he just works hard. He's our uh, team leader and hits every game almost and throughout the season. And I think through that, it's created a lot of his offense. While they want to take it one series at a time, the Trojans can't help but think of losing to their rival, the Nate Oops, in last year's finals and want to avenge that this season. Yeah, obviously, it's still in the back of our heads. and. Uh... Ideally, it would be the matchup we, a lot of us want, and I think uh, we're all ready for the challenge. I know that uh, they they beat up on us pretty good uh, the last time we played them, but hopefully everything goes well, and hopefully we meet up with them, and uh, it works out to our favor. If that same high-powered offense can continue into the playoffs and through to the finals, the Trojans will more than likely get that chance at redemption. Stay tuned to find out.